Dr. Jen Ashton back with us with all of the answers that you seek as it comes to coronavirus. So let's get with the first one right away. Can contactless thermometers get accurate temperature readings in cold weather? This is such a loaded question and I love talking about these thermometers. They absolutely can be accurate, but they can also have a wide and vast range and inaccuracy. The, the ones we're talking about, the little yeah. guns that you Why shoot at the says I'm 97.5. That's okay. That that's okay. The <laughs> issue is, and we've heard this before, Dr. Anthony Fauci said, that's good. What do we, they say, cold forehead, warm heart. Okay, or something, there you or, go. Or I just said it. <laughs> Dr. Anthony Fauci has said t checking temperatures as a way to screen for COVID is notoriously inaccurate and will miss a huge number of actual COVID cases. We know that about 30% only of COVID patients admitted to a hospital in a New York study had a fever. That means 70% did not. And my issue, every time someone points one of those things at me, is what is your cutoff? Is it 100.4, which is how we define a temperature? And what will you do if I say 100.3? So you have to know what you're going to do with the results of a test before you do the test. We've talked about this. There are other medical emergencies going on here during this pandemic. So this next question, interesting. Can you contract COVID-19 through a blood transfusion? This is a great question. And right now, the CDC does not have any official guidelines for either blood donation or blood transfusion in the setting of COVID. They think it is unlikely that COVID can be transmitted via blood uh, or other bodily fluids, except for saliva, as we know. Um, but it's still too new, and they're mm -hmm. going to be tracking it. There is one isolated case report in a patient who donated blood, then later was diagnosed with COVID. The person who got the recipient of that blood transfusion tested negative. But oh. again, that is, as we say in medicine, an N of one. Right. All right, Dr. Jen, thank you, you as bet. always. And you can submit questions to Dr. Jen on her Instagram at Dr. J Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.